OneNote has some very handy security features. For example, you might want to password protect one or more sections, particularly if you're going to share the notebook with others and you may not want them to see every part of it. So we can have a look at some of the different options that you've got for password protection and we'll also take a look at some of the backup op options that we've got. So firstly, let's say I want to password protect this section. All I need to do is right click on the section tab and say password protect this section and then I can set a password. I'll just use a simple one for this exercise. I'll use the word password and then we confirm the password. Just take note of the caution down here. If you do lose or forget the password, OneNote can't recover it, so you must ensure that the password is something that you can remember or can always find. All right, so we'll click OK. And this section is now password protected. Now, at this point, I can keep working on it, but if I come back to it later, I'll need to unlock it to be able to get in by using the password. Or I can lock everything now. So if I click lock, now that is locked. And if I want to get into it, I need to either click here or press enter and enter the password. Here it is and now I'm into it. We can also lock other sections. So I might go to the science section and I'll password protect that. Set my password. Yeah, that's, that one is also password protected. If I click lock all now and I navigate from this one, which is obviously locked, to another locked section, all right, it's all locked now. So to get in, I have to click or press enter and again type in the password. Once you're into a locked section, if you need to remove a password, you can do so. Also, you can change the password. We'll just look at how we can remove the password. So I'm going to click remove password. Now it's going to ask you for the password again to ensure that you are actually authorized to do this. So that's it done. I've now removed that password. There are also some password protection options that you can look at. And if you go to the file menu and down to options, you'll find these options. Okay, so I'm going to look under advanced and scrolling down Here's my password options. The ones you might look at in particular are how long will the, the workbook remain active before it will lock itself. That is, if you walk away from it and leave it open, it will lock it itself after a certain amount of time. In, by default, it's only 10 minutes, but you can make it something smaller than that if you like. Say uh, one minute, that might get annoying if you just stop for a minute and it locks yourself. We might take it down to five minutes. Another option you can have is locking the password protection protected sections as soon as you navigate away from them. So as soon as you go to another section, it locks itself. So I might tick that one. Now the other thing that I wanted to look at was the backup options. So if we go to save and backup, here are our backup options. Now by default, the OneNote notebooks are backed up every one day and we keep two copies of backups. All right, if you have some very important and sensitive material, you may want to back up more often than once a day. You might want to back up every hour or even less than that. And you might want to keep a number of backups that's higher than two. So you might be saying, all right, well, let me go back 10 backups even, depending on how much disk space you want to use as well. So you might say, all right, I'm going to back up twice a day, so every 12 hours and I want to have 10 backups. So that means basically you could go back five days worth of backups to get the one that you want. All right, so that's really it for the security features. We've looked at how to password protect a section, lock our protected sections, unlock, remove a password. Also, we've looked at the options for both password protection and setting backup options.